Well guys, we have two topics. We will give a quick update on the short-term dimming event that we are currently in, and we will provide an update on the long-term dimming of Tabby Star using David Lane's latest V-band measurements. So this is Tabby's team's R-band normalized light curve of KIC 8462852, and they have jammed all of last year's data with this year's new data on this one graph. So we are going to focus and expand the right side of the light curve so that we can all see it better. So of all three observatories data, which are superimposed on this light curve, we will focus on those taken by TFN, which is an observatory in Spain, and those are indicated in the blue data points. So what we are going to show you now is the path taken by the flux variation as observed by this observatory in Spain. Notice that the lowest point in the short-term dip was approximately 3.5% below nominal flux, which is the deepest dip observed since the Kepler mission in 2013. And as of today, the star has recovered to just being approximately 0.9% below the nominal flux level. So it seems like the short-term dimming event may be about over with. And this is Bruce Gary's G-band normalized light curve. And he too is showing a recovery from the short-term dimming event at approximately 0.3% below nominal flux as of today. So let's shift gears and update the long-term dimming of Tabby Star. So this is the V-band centered 25-day simple moving average light curve we concluded with in our last video update. And at that time we had dimmed approximately 4.05% in the last 27 and a half months. So let's zoom in on that portion of the light curve highlighted by the red box so that we can add two more measurements taken by David Lane. So this is the light curve we showed in our last update, and this is the measurement taken on March 20th, and this is the measurement taken today, March 21st. And this is the best fit curve of this portion of the light curve. So let's zoom back out and update the current long-term flux level of Tabby Star. So as of today, the centered 25-day simple moving average of Tabby Star flux is now down 4.23% versus 4.05% from our last update. Folks, the long-term dimming just keeps getting dimmer and dimmer. Just so you guys know, it's the long-term trend that is the real prize here. That's the real story. The short-term trend is really just a distraction. The short-term dips are erratic, but not the real story here. Well, guys, uh, we will continue to keep you all up to date. Take care of yourselves, and we will see you in our next video update.